In this video, we're going to learn how to use the mole and rmol methods in Python. So mole and rmol are what are called magic methods or dunder methods in Python. They're methods that we can create inside a class in order to define how objects of that class type should behave when used with the multiplication operator. We call this operator overloading, where we define how the multiplication operator should work with objects of this class type. So for example, let's say we have a class type to represent populations. And when a population object is initialized, we'll set a population count attribute equal to some initial count. So we'll have self.count is equal to the parameter initial count. We could then create two population objects with population one is equal to, let's say a population of 100, and we'll have population two is equal to a population of, let's say five. Then down here, if we try to use the multiplication operator with these two population objects, it's not going to work. So if we have new population is equal to population one times population two, and we save the program and we give it a try, We'll get an error here. It says unsupported operand types for multiplication, population, and population. And the issue is we haven't defined the mole method in order to define how the multiplication operator should work for population objects. So we could do that now. We'll define the mole method with def double underscore mole double underscore with self and other as the parameters. So now when we use the multiplication operator here, this method is going to be called and self is going to be set to population one and other is going to be set to population two. Now we can have this method do whatever we want. What we'll have it do is return a new population object and this population objects count is going to be the multiplication, the product of these two population objects counts. So we'll have self dot count times other dot count. Then down here, we'll output the new population objects count. So we'll have print and new population, and we'll output this new objects count. If we save the program and try it out, we'll get a count of 500. So that's what the mole method does. It defines how an object should behave when used with the multiplication operator. Now, one thing we may want to do is multiply a population object by a number like an integer, like for example, five. So instead of population two here, let's say we want to multiply population one by five. To handle this case, what we could do is detect the type of the other operand here. We could have here if, and we'll call is instance. And if other is of type int, is instance is going to return true. And in that case, what we'll do is return a new population object with this left operands count multiplied by other as that population objects count, where other is now an integer. And so we're taking this population objects count, we're multiplying it by other, and that's going to be the new population objects count. So if we save the program and try it out, this will also work. Now where our mole comes in is if we want to have, let's say five times population one. So the mole method is not going to work in this case. If we save the program and give it a try, we'll get an error. It says unsupported operand types for multiplication, int, and population. And the issue is this time the population object is the right operand of this multiplication operator. The int object is the left operand. And it's that object's mole method that's first being called. And the mole method for an int object doesn't know how to work with a population object as the right operand. So that's why we get this error here. Now, in general, if this operand does not have a mole method defined, or if that mole method returns the special value not implemented, then this object's rmole method is going to be called. So this situation is why we define the rmole method. 
So here we'll define the R mole method. Now in our case, we want the multiplication operator to be commutative. What that means is that A times B should be the same as B times A. So what we'll do in this case is actually just use the existing mole method. Because when this method is called with self set to population one and other set to five, we've already defined in the mole method how that should work when we have a population object multiplied by an int object. So we'll return self and we'll call the mole method and we'll pass it other. Then if we save this program and try it out, it's now going to work. So this is how we can use the mole and rmole methods in Python. I'll show you one more thing. What if we want the multiplication operator to work with any type of number in Python and a population object? So for example, what if we had a float here like 5.5? To do this, we could import from numbers number. So we'll have from numbers import number. Then down here, we'll check if other is an instance of number. Now this will work with any type of number in Python. If we save the program and try it out, we'll now get 550.0. So this is how we can overload the multiplication operator using mole and rmole in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.